then what you can do from there is you can start to go down into sort of smaller units so for instance what you'll tend to find is um, there might be certain players that are that are working for each other okay so take um, left winger for it for instance you might find during attacking transition that that player pushes down the left wing and you might notice that the striker then drops um, drops, drops infield a little bit more so you'll start to notice little movements that players are, are doing during them transitions in particular um, you also might notice little little patterns little patterns of play um, and these are all things that you can that you can start to to um, note down and again these these are the things these are the details that you need to be able to see as a as a coach um, also if you if you're relaying it um, so you won't often see players just kind of stood in the in the same areas you'll see them swapping and interacting with with other players so once you get your big units of play figured out then that's when you can start to then go down to um, the, the smaller units so two three four players um, and the better managers and better coaches uh, like your Jurgen Klopp's and um, Bielsa's and your Guardiola's of the world and um, and your Mourinho's this is where it starts to get complicated because they'll change these little patterns and little movements more often than less experienced or coaches with less ability basically so it becomes more trickier to, to break down to identify and um, to keep track just because they've got more movements and more circulation <laughs> okay then we so now that we've we've done the units um, and again you're gonna go through each each one of them boxes and you're gonna put your units in and you might notice you might notice um, a few different things you might notice as well that that players are trying it or units are trying to do a certain play but it isn't it isn't working so again these these are notes that you want to you want to put down for instance so let's say um, the team are quite obviously having the center center midfielders feed the ball into um, a striker that's got his back to goal um, but it but it's not sticking balls not played in with any quality um, or the strikers unable to control it under pressure um, and you're going to want to put, put that down or maybe the striker comes off the centre backs drops into the space um, in between the midfield and the defenders and he's able to get a little bit more joy because he's able to turn on the ball and, and attack so again you're going to want to take note of that because when you play them um, you're going to want to make your centre backs and your midfield aware that if the ball does go into that striker and he is able to turn then that's when he's dangerous if he has a player screening him or defending him then he's not so dangerous so once we've gone through that then we can look at the individuals and then this is this is really where you can sort of earn your money as as a as a coach as a scout um, or doing the analysis for a team um, you want to then start to focus on on the individual so it started big picture everybody then we focused on our team then we focused on the the team as a whole then we broke it down into units and now we're going to focus on the individual player now what you want to look at with this is the characteristics so left footed right footed both footed um, mentality ability to to move around the fields are they comfortable are they older are they younger um, the movement off the ball are they able to find the little pockets of space or are they, or are they lazy with this um, head movement are they constantly checking left and right to see like the surroundings so with this don't just concentrate on what they do with the ball concentrate on what they're doing when the ball's nowhere near them um, and you can you'll learn a lot about the player during during that time um, and again this bit's quite tricky on 
watching it on TV because the cameras tend to tend to follow the ball. So again, a lot easier when you're watching sort of Spanish Italian uh, football soccer because the camera's um, further away and it's got a higher vantage point.